as it went along and it revealed itself. I completely, I mean, I, I laughed literally. I mean, literally, I laughed until I fell on the ground. So. <laughs> Any woman with semen in her hair that a man still thinks is hot and women want to be friends with, ladies and gentlemen, is a star. The outrageous comedy became one of the decade's biggest hits. Something about Mary took Cameron into a new realm in Hollywood. She was nominated for a Golden Globe in 1999 for Best Actress for this film, and she won the New York Film Critics' Choice Award and the MTV Movie Award. To get these kind of accolades so early in her career was a big deal for someone that young in Hollywood. In 1997, Cameron Diaz was everywhere, thanks to her breakout role in My Best Friend's Wedding and her high-profile relationship with actor Matt Dillon. She fell for her first big Hollywood star, and she had no problem talking about it in the press. Matt has 100 girls following him. What do you do in that situation? What do I do in that situation? <laughs> I've decided that I'm a transsexual. I think the first time everybody kind of looked at Cameron and being John Malkovich, everybody was like, wait, who is that? Is Cameron in the yeah. film? Yeah, I was in the film. Wow. Well, who are you? Who did you play? I, I, um, I, I played uh, 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 your wife. Oh, that was you. <laughs> so when she began dating actor Jared Leto from My So-Called Life, the actress kept it under the radar. This was the first relationship that Cameron decided to keep close to her heart. She felt like she was being exposed, you know, the more and more famous she got. A few months later, Diaz kept things casual when she met pop star Justin Timberlake at the 2003 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. She presented him with the Burp Award, which she had won before, and that gives you basically the gist of the beginning of the chemistry between Justin and Cameron. This was his first big relationship post Britney Spears. This was her first big rock star boyfriend. There was an age difference between them. So at first people were kind of like, what, what's going on there? Saying, you know, why is she picking another young guy? Why isn't she getting into a serious relationship? Her paycheck for the Charlie's Angels sequel, the actress moved to the top of the Hollywood A-list. Full throttle took Cameron Diaz into a very elite club. Of all the female lead actresses, only Julia Roberts was making $20 million. But with success came new problems. According to court documents, Cameron's manager was approached by a photographer who claimed he had been offered money to sell old photos of Diaz taken when she was much younger. In the beginning of her career, Cameron made some decisions that young girls are faced with. You're gonna be asked to take your top off and you're gonna be asked to do things to exploit yourself. On November 6, 2004, the high-profile couple was caught off guard by a barrage of flashbulbs at the Chateau Marmont Hotel in Hollywood. Photographers allegedly jumped out from behind the bushes, and Cameron and Justin had just had enough. It's difficult for people to imagine what it actually feels like to be bombarded. The cameraman says that he was attacked, there was a scuffle, that they took their camera. Cameron says that she was scared for her life and took the camera from the photographer to turn it into police to be able to actually track this person that was hounding her. For Cameron and Justin both, it was just an automatic reaction. If I was fearing being in this position, then I would be a really miserable person. <laughs> being able to manage that is, for me, it's essential. In June of 2005, Cameron found herself in another legal battle, this time with the National Enquirer. They ran a photo of her hugging a producer from the MTV show Trippin' saying that she was cheating on Justin Timberlake. The actress filed a defamation suit against the Enquirer in Los Angeles and London. According to the LA Times, Diaz was later awarded substantial damages from the magazine's publisher. She had the money and the power and the time, and she fought it. Press reports surfaced that Cameron and Justin were drifting apart after almost four years together. Cameron and Justin's relationship was really scrutinized in the public eye. They released a public statement in January saying that they had split, but none of us know exactly what really happened. That's what's tough for celebrities, because if they have something happen, they don't get to go through it like we do. Everybody has to go through it with them. It's just unfair. You could feel that she was a little bit pressured, a little bit more guarded. She wasn't exactly herself. In early 2007, Cameron Diaz and longtime boyfriend Justin Timberlake released a joint statement saying their romance was over. They had a great relationship when it was working for them, and when they went their separate ways, they were always very generous with each other. Although they were no longer an item, Cameron and JT shared the red carpet at the London premiere of Shrek the Third. 
In this one, you've got your ex on the cast list. Uh, how difficult does that make things? Um, he's right there. I, we're, there's no blows being thrown, is there? <laughs> it's only difficult when people ask about it, because then you go, why are they asking about it? You could feel that she was a little bit pressured, a little bit more guarded. She wasn't exactly herself. Clearly, she had just gone through a huge public breakup, but she was still respectful. There's clearly a mutual respect between these people, and it's kind of impressive to watch in Hollywood. Definitely losing her dad was her most difficult time in her life. Yeah, definitely. It's tough. They were very close. For the first time, we saw a more vulnerable side to Cameron. I was really fortunate to be with a group of people who were very supportive, but also, you know, I have a really strong group of friends, and they all were going through it, too. They were all having that experience with me. Cameron's next move was reuniting with ex-boyfriend Justin Timberlake for the film Bad Teacher. Cameron is a genius businesswoman, and she knew exactly what she was doing when she took this role with Justin Timberlake. In the spring of 2010, press reports linked Cameron to Yankees player Alex Rodriguez. Cameron is a girl that likes to have a good time. She dates A-Rods, she dates models, she dates younger guys. The press will continue to release stories in making her either the player or the cougar or the poor girl. My philosophy is sort of like, don't worry about the future, just take care of where you're at right now. And, and um, that's what, what I've been doing. I think, do you guys think that that's um, my philosophy? Or am I just blurting it out? Okay, good. <laughs>